Alan, welcome to Conflict Zone. Thank you. EYD, YPG, in Talabiyat and Rasul Ain, that released about 800 ISIS terrorists in prison with an organization with another one. You cannot fight ISIS with the PKK. But if the effect, uh, you, look, you look at the US, Ambassador James Jeffrey, the Actually, they claim. Oh, so he doesn't know what he's talking about. Well, that's not what he told us in our meetings. I've had many meetings with Jim. He's a good friend. Uh, and of course, as professionals, we work on these issues together. He may be a good friend, person. In Rasul Ain, now they're worshipping uh, peacefully. In Rasul Ain, I'm talking about the Armenian church there. So all these things. I'm that they claim about the human none of that happened. violations that they said would happen and have happened, haven't they? Where? Where exactly? Give me some examples. And we've demanded an explanation. You claimed, you claimed. And by whom? A number of investigations How many? by our military How many? have been launched. How many, Mr. Callan? How many? Some of them are operational details. Oh, uh, I would on. rather not share You can them tell with me if you. there are any now, human rights going on. Probably you will find out as a, as a good journalist. You don't know. You can do search you? and you don't know. find. It's just, it's just uh, a blanket excuse, isn't it? Look, if you look at the civilian casualties in the Syrian war, uh, can you guess how many people, how many civilians have died? In the, in the operation in Raqqa? Make a guess. Organizations, <clears throat> the West only recognizes one of them. That is ISIS, because it attacks Western interests. But the others, since they are only in Turkey and attacking Turkey, the elected government, uh, the security forces, or the civilians, nobody wants to talk about it. To the northeast corridor of the country, knowing that in all likelihood they would torture, abuse, and possibly murder people. because that's exactly what they had done in the northern city of Afrin. Looting in Afrin and they were penalized. But it's the same group, of, by the way, we're talking about the Syrians themselves fighting for their own freedom, for their own country, against the brutality of the Assad regime to which the Western world has now turned a blind eye. We are the only ones actually taking care of millions of refugees and the Syrians. He spoke November the 7th, had killed some 200 civilians and left over 100,000 people newly displaced and homeless. We have heard this many times from the CENTCOM people within the Trump administration propaganda. Now, unfortunately, they have a free reign free ride here in Western Cap presented this report to him as well. said, look, this is your own report. Okay, now, this doesn't report, take us any further, this well, line. No, what this it doesn't says, take us what any it further. says is that you are giving a free ride to PKK in Germany. Why do you do that? The people who were after the coup attempt in 2016. I think I already answered that. The, the, the people who were fired from their jobs were on because the charges against them were nonsense. Weren't they? Thousands of people who were falsely implicated in the coup attempt had to be reinstalled because the allegations against them were false. Not that they had the chance to defend themselves. Much for being on conflict zone. All right, okay. my pleasure. Thank you very much. So much to talk about. <laughs>